My hot stick is clean and dry. My hands are clean and dry. My shoes are clean and dry. My ass is fucking pretty tough. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It is Friday, September 23rd, 1355 hours, and we have mail from Joshua Henderson in Everett, Washington. So, let's see what we've got. Oh, it's got a scroll. <laughs> Hello, Geek Group. Dude! Anybody who starts a letter with dude, I gotta worry about, but it's, it's... Just so you know, when, when you print stuff with the two colors like that, I come from a printing background. I actually went to school for printing graphic arts. Hi, bars! And to any of us with a printing background, I look at that and it just looks like your registration is off. So, cool. Dude! We both have been like watching you for about like a year now. I would be coming in a heartbeat, but since we live in Washington State, I'm broke, jobless, and stumbling. This Washington, is not possible. California. Well, yeah, but it's West Coast. It's okay. He started off with dude, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, when the first line is, dude, we both have been, like, watching you for about a year now. That just doesn't sound right. But it's like, dude, we both have been, like, watching you for about a year now. I would be coming in a heartbeat, but since we live in Washington State and I'm broke, jobless, and stumbling, this is not possible. Going through some old stuff, we found a new unused soap dispenser, and my buddy found a bathroom sign at his job. Anyway, we're also in a band called Mahalan. How do you, is that how you say that? Mahalan? Oh, Mahalan? Mahalan? Yeah. Malin. Malin. Malin! And here's a copy of one of our major hit albums, Envy. Hope you enjoy it. And if you don't like it, you can fry it up in Thumper. Later, dude. Rob Simons and Josh Henderson. And you can learn about them at malinband.com. About me slash malinband. Yeah. Okay, so check them out. They're in a band and they're cool. And what we got? We have their awesome hit album, which is like totally rad. It's got. Okay, here, now you can, you cannot judge an album by its cover, but you can judge a band by their names, a lot. <laughs> so, his tracks include From Warfare to Healing, 37, This Void, I Don't Know What to Do With My Life, Deep Thought, Taunt, oh, what do you want to bet it sounds like a Tool song? Um, <laughs> Mr. Strange, Floater, which is about his epic adventures after Taco Bell, um, She Went Away Slow, Seeing Me Down, In the Morning, On Mars, There, another one that sounds like a Tool song. Um, why am I trying an old man? Hmm. Mm. Kind of curious on this. Okay, mm. this is... I'm gonna give this a listen, we'll check it out. In fact, I'm going to put this on the radio when our power comes back on. Our power's out right now because somebody hit a telephone pole or something. It has absolutely nothing to do with anything we've done in a high voltage lab. So we have a sign that says, Employees must wash hands before returning to work, and an auto janitor dispenser for use with urinals and toilets. We've had enough trouble with urinals here. Mm. It took me like two months to finally convince Jabroni that he could not eat the urinal mints. Okay, two months. They're good, man. They taste like peppermint. Yeah, okay, two months to get him to quit eating urinal mints. They are pretty good. They're, they're crunchy. So I what, haven't been here for two months. Power refill. This is, oh, it's one of the things that pees a happy smell. You gotta get a container of the stuff. It doesn't come with the stuff. We gotta get the stuff. Or we could just, you know, fill it with pig blood or something. I was gonna fun. say soapy water. <laughs> Make it a real fun. All right, thing. well, that goes in supply. That is one of the cooler, see, bonus points for coming up with an interesting form of letter writing. This is neat, because we get a lot of emails, um, stuff like that, but this, that one, we're hanging that up. That's Personal. cool. It's neat. It's not just handwritten. It's it's actually like done in an interesting style. And just for having sent me a thing in an interesting style, 
Both Rob and Josh, you're both getting a pair of Kingston t-shirts for just being awesome. Okay, we'll get those mailed out to you because I know where you sleep at night. Um, you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden, and we'll be back. Captain's blog supplemental at 1400. The power came back on. It was actually like 1405 or something, but yeah, that's when the power came back on. Now you know, because you care. These are important things to make notes of. All right, now uh, a couple weeks ago, it, yeah, it's been a few weeks now. Um, really awesome, cool dude, Blind Brad, sent us a dust collector, and you can see it here. I don't think it's actually made it into a captain's blog yet, and I think it's funny that the dust collector is covered in dust. Um, we, we've had it here, we put together. Thank you, Brad, you rule, sir. We need to get a better one, but this one will get us started. It's a good, basic, simple little dust collector. Now this has the input down here, you can see it's a, it's a four inch input pipe, okay? And we have this machine here, which when you're cutting MDF, this was totally clean, like two days ago. We start cutting MDF and it's covered, covered in the MDF, the, the worst sawdust of all is MDF dust. And we're cutting a lot. This is a project from one of our guys. And I went out and got today thanks to a donation from the Future Girl Foundation. We got all kinds of stuff at Woodcraft. Thank you, Woodcraft. And we've got clamps and gate valves and little fittings and things and bits and bobbles and something blue and something new and yeah. So we're gonna be hooking this up. I need Joe Simon or Steve, one of you two guys, to start tinkering on this because we want to mount this up on the thing here so that we can have the flexi bit to pick it up and we want to mount this down on the floor it's a sweep thing I'm going I'm not going to turn that on until Moose gets back um so yeah I, I need to get this hooked up we've got all kinds of hose and fittings and all that jazz so either Steve or Joe please have a look at that and get it sorted out thank you gentlemen now swinger careful guys Okay, just like swing back. Trying to move Brony, get in there, help them pull low. Yeah. Alright guys, it's 1527 hours, and what's cooler than having a Tesla coil that runs off a 100 kVA transformer? Having a Tesla coil that runs off two 100 kVA transformers. So we're going to take Gemini up to uh, 30 kilovolts tonight, and to do that, Mr. Kidwell is going to require extra transformers. So I gotta move this thing into position. It's kind of hefty. All right, are you good? I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to like you know get in your way or anything. I wouldn't want to offend you. But some of us are trying to work here. Some of us are trying to be productive. Why not just take that, you want that off? Yeah, that's the thing for. You just push the little thing up and do that. Just like the other three? Just like the other three, yeah. I'd, hey, you're, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna be nice and not say nothing. Cause I'm a little ray of sunshine. And nice is your special. Hey, I am, I am sweetness, love and light, man. Brute force, that's what they got me for. You got a lot more brute force than I do, okay? Yeah, we're gonna have to slide the... All right, well we got, watch that corner. We got the thing. We can bring this one this way. Yeah, just, just slide that one. That one's not on wheels, dude. Go nuts. Just wiggle that right on over there. Just like we did this, this one over there? Yeah, yeah, go on with your bad self. Just wiggle that around like it ain't shit. There you go. What balls he has. We gotta go that way. Okay, you steer there. Okay, work. Are we good? Oh, I can move the wire up now. That's no big deal. Huh. You want to come? We're pretty much good right there, aren't we? Uh, it's still got to go a bit. All right. Okay, that'll work. We're just about under it. All right. 
Now we set slings. We left the slings on the forklift. Oh, shit. <laughs> 1543 hours, and there you go. Two beautiful 100 kVA pigs side by side. And uh, now we'll get, uh, we're going to take the scaffolding down because we don't need it. We'll get them situated right. And at 20 hundred hours tonight, because he's totally going to be on time. It could happen once. Kidwell and Eakin are going to be in town and they're going to hook that up and yeah, do their thing. Because Kidwell, Eakin and I are going to be doing big weekend of high voltage. So stay tuned for that. There will be videos someday, real soon now. Corey. Well, it didn't help that the power went out, and gonna, gonna now we videos. have electricity problems upstairs. Like what? Like half of the happen. south wall is out. And we got a couple brake constrictors or something. We'll sort it out. All right, cool. You guys have fun. We'll be back. Well, you're gonna have to walk back to the Bill, what? Move that fan out of the way. The big box one. Yeah. Why did I no. do this? I don't know. <laughs> Why? Get over here. Yeah. I had a bad brain fart. <laughs> so we're gonna have to go up to get over the uh, outriggers. Now. Yeah, we gotta go up. up, up. Not necessarily this much. Up, but hey, how does it work? That should work better. Apparently, it's easier. Watch out, Steve. Right, it's not going on the router. Oh, take I'll hold it in place. Alright, is this one ready to move? Yeah. Alright, you gotta take this one and lay it onto the panel saw. Sawdust is actually good for you to him. Yeah, it plugs the lung. Alright, you This one's lighter. By like <laughs> a half a pound. <laughs> Can we get Star Wars music down here? <laughs> it was so inspiring. Yeah. Yes, we're clearing over the mill, or the lane. Now we gotta put it vertical. This side um, probably has to be up still. Yeah, so Hang on. rotate this way. We've got a hand truck under us. Batman's gotta go down. Alright, this side's gotta go down, and it's gonna slide right on the panel That's the panel saw. For those of you who did not know. Ready? You're gonna go up. Oh, up. Oh, there you go. I'm 37. Alright, now we gotta pick up the other piece of <laughs> Hmm. So Matt, yeah. this is your first day. You've yeah. been here for like a minute and a half. What do you think of the place? It's awesome. Have you seen Gemini go yet? Yes. Okay. I, I didn't know if you got a chance to see Gemini. It's not big enough. Or, no? Well, no. Th there's a bigger one right there. I know. It's we're on it. Yeah, I was. I mean, I think it actually is pretty big. But <laughs> apparently, you guys want to go bigger? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. That's um. You know, that's colossal. Yes. That's the yeah. idea. That's yeah. epic. Right. Yeah, it's epic. We do yeah. epic well. Yeah. It's not half ass. You know. No. No. <laughs> for the head. So. Yeah. Will be the biggest one in the world. Yeah. Everybody. Uh, when it's done, it will be three. The three biggest ones in the world. No. Nope. Yeah. That's that's what we're going for. <laughs> so you got to aim high. Aim yeah. Low, well, we try. If you aim all, you hit it. It's the geek group, man. Oh come on. <laughs> All right, so it's 1732, and this is the initial test of our Hack Together temporary no real support arm dust collector hose system. Um, and what I've got here is we've got the dust collector. It goes down through. There's a gate. There's a Y. We've got the sweep nozzle thing, and this goes up and over. It's just zip tied to the wall. We ran the machine to all the extremes of travel to make sure nothing had any binding issues or anything. And it hooks on here and goes down. This is a rigid mount for the air thing. This is a little jet blast of air. And it uh, goes down here and I put a hard tip on it so that it won't get messed up. And it's flexible down here. This is like a crinkle tube. So it'll, it'll bump out of the way if it hits anything. 
And uh, now we'll give it a shot and see how it works. Hit it, Moose. This is our Dust Collector Experiment 101. Well, it gets some dust. <laughs> All right, pull it out, let me adjust something, we'll try it again. because it is getting the other dust there, and now it's going back and getting that. Needs, needs to be bumped out just a little bit. It actually works really good if I get stare, but it's gonna pop out in a second, yeah. All right, it needs some adjustment, but we're on the right track. Well, so far, it's well better than our previous stuff. Oh yeah, it's way better than anything we had before. I have something that we need to ask our viewers for. What? We need a bunch of old, less than one gig flash drives, like USB drives. For CNC stuff? For the CNC, because ah, okay. it doesn't like it with big drives. Yeah. And it can read anything under a gig with no problem. So all the really manky old ones that everybody has in It can drawer. be 512, it can be less than that. Yeah, there's a million of them out there, and nobody uses them anymore, they're and just dust collectors. We need like two dozen. Yeah, sure, all right. So there, send some stuff in. Thank you. Help Moose, she loves you. I do. Cool. So what will you do for anybody who sends in a flash drive? Um, if you send in a flash drive, I'll send you a magnet. Really? Mm -hmm. There you go. You get a geek group fridge magnet. Cool. Thank you, Moose. Thank you. 2131 hours, and the test is going really, really well on the sheet router. Have a look. You can see the high voltage build up on the thing. Look at the... See how there's little bristly sticking out? That means that there's a lot of static built up. It's acting kind of like a Pelotron in that as it moves the debris up the hose, it's, gener it's moving the electrostatic charge. All the dust particles have an electrostatic charge, and you can see that all building up. If we touch it with uh, a grounded wire, I'll see if I can rig up a grounded wire, and I'll show you that, and it'll, it'll spark right up. It'll be kind of cool. Um, you got a pair of jumper cables? Grab me a jumper cable. Okay. All right. All right, so we've got jumper cables. Now, watch this. Now, the conduit of the building is grounded. So that is at electrical zero. It's a ground reference. because black is ground. They're both grounded, so it doesn't really matter. But watch, if I reach this out there, watch the little fuzz close to it. See how they're all attracted? And now I've got little fuzz, and see how they shoot back to the tube? Watch this, I'll pick up some fuzz, my ground clamp, and we'll go up to the tube, and as I shake it off, jumps out to the tube. See, I can pick up some of that charge. Now if I pull this in here, I'll get, I'll get some really good... It's like a magnet. See? Sawdust magnet. It's like a sawdust magnet. If I pull it away... See how they stay on there? It doesn't care about that at all because that's grounded too. But all that sawdust on there, if I bring it back out towards the thing, it gets all bristly again. And some of it even jumps across. So, there you go. Static electricity and the sawdust pelotron. Hey, Paul! I was using jumper cables in the other room. Yeah. Um, I just did a thing on how a dust collector is like a pelotron. Okay. Which is actually pretty cool. Alright. And I had jumper cables in my head. Okay. We have to phase these uh -huh. jumper cables for the, for the low voltage. So they'll do the job. Yeah, it'll work great. 
Because they're like, I don't know, four games, six I games. hope they're rated to, the insulation's rated to 600. Well, they're yeah. good for 12 volts, I don't know. There's a tag on them, though. And it uh, tells you how to hook up power. <laughs> so here, we have to hook this to the grounded frame on the dead battery. <laughs> I'm gonna go, hey, hey. Red, right. Red, right. Red, right, ring. Red, right, ring. Okay, so Red, we'll right. set that up for phasing. And we're gonna take. How long do you want that? I want that to go here. You got the tape? You hold the stick. I'll hold, hold this back like that. Thank you. I don't really trust wires that doesn't have anything like written on it. Shut up. <laughs> These are the highest quality Taiwanese made jumper cables. You know, this is the kind of logic I was using when I put the copper pipe on the fiberglass ladder. That, that fiberglass ladder over there that you destroyed? That, that one? Yeah. That be the fiberglass ladder? Hey, I Same one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Paul. Now, just to make sure. This is disconnected. This is connected only to here. This is connected only to here. The Tesla coil is in no possible. These, these That's the Tesla. wires down here go to the Tesla coil. That is right. Okay, I have verified those for myself and feel comfortable. I'm going to turn the current limiting down. Yeah, you want that way? Four. Four gives us 23 amps. Oh, we can do better now. 30 amps. Yes, that chart is valid again. Yeah. That chart is valid because we're at 480. Yes. Okay. Would you like? Okay. We're going to phase 100 kVA bull pigs. <laughs> Paul, I've done this with NSTs and it's not that big a deal, but. 100 kVA bull pigs, that's a big deal. I don't mind doing this with a drumstick in NSTs, but I gotta tell you right now, my stick ain't here. Jumps. 
out here. Three. Oh, you get the you get the wrong at two. Two? Yeah. It's jumping at two. Shut it down. Now we can reverse the wires and see what we get. Yeah. Okay, this is reset. Key, yeah. hands, changing phase. Red to left. Now, that felt right to me before, so I think this is going to be wrong. Let's test it. I am clear, safe, and ready. Go. Turn the lights on. Somebody go in the box. Lights coming up. All right, Dan, the mains are on, right? Mains are on. Okay, now this is our late night test with a pair of 100 kVA transformers wired in. Huh? I did. I cracked it up to eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're it's eighty amps. All right. So we're current limited to eighty amps. Now here's here's a neat thing to pay attention to. Our current limiter, um, our power comes in, and then we step down from the four eighty to two forty to current limit, and then go back to four eighty. So our two forty current, because our current limiter only works at uh, two forty, we're in notch eight. That's eighty six point three amps. Boom, right there, notch eight. So we're 86.3 amps at 240, which is God at 480. And we're, we're, we're into a series pair of 100 kVA pole pigs, which we did actually move with a forklift. So photonic conduction, you win that one. And I'm gonna set the camera right up here and point it right out there. So this is the system running at 30 kilovolts input. This is our first test. We have no idea what's gonna happen. Let's give it a shot. Cage is clear. Lights are out. Key is in. Key is on. System hot. We are armed. Gap up. Very active zero. Firing now. Coming up. We need to put all the things back in the gap. Are, you have any issues over here? No, what we need to do... I think we need to put all the things back in the gap. No, we need to sit there and adjust the firing position of the gap. You think so? Because now it's a higher voltage, so it's jumping farther. Yeah? So it's leading. You think so? Yes. All right. Well, that's, that's a thing to play with tomorrow. Yes. We also need to um, redo the power feed on that. Okay. Because we'll, we're tripping that breaker in no time. Yes, we do. So we got to fix that. Yes. We'll, All right. We'll crank, we'll we will be back tomorrow to bring you more fun and excitement. It's going to be a long night here. So you guys have fun. I got to quit shooting video because I got to get this edited so that you can see it in the morning. We'll have much more updates here tomorrow where we'll be shooting real production videos. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. That's Mr. Kidwell, who loves you. Yes. There's Dan Eakin. Hey. <laughs> and there's Jeff. Hello. Jeff Rules. You guys have fun. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.
here and yeah, but we've got we've, to we, here we've here. got where it sings and it's perfect and it's coming out and it should be fine if it's off by 90 degrees, okay. but it's not something. There's four sets of electrodes. Yeah. So if it's here or here, you're fine because there's four electrodes. There's only there's only four possible places it could come into right. sync. The only way it, exactly, and we got them all covered because we got four sets of electrodes on. I'm saying it's out of sync. I'm saying you're one right. of two things is happening. Either it's out of sync or we just blew up our cat bank. Pick one. We I didn't know, blow up the cat. I know it's out of sync. All we got to do is it, it's an adjustment on the motor. Yeah? Yeah. All you got to do is turn it in its crate. It was singing a second ago. I understand. Is it loose? No, it's not. So it's tight in the crate. It's tight in the crate. If you want, I'll go check to verify that it's where it was. I don't see how it's possible that the thing could have moved. Not if it's tight, no. No, no. All right, we'll figure it out tomorrow. Okay. All right.